welcome to Createful Art. Today I would love to show you how to paint these ocean waves with your palette knife. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified whenever I make a new video. Thanks for painting along with me today and let's get started. What you need for this painting is an 8 by 8 inch canvas. You can use whatever size you have and if you don't have a canvas, or a panel, then you can use papers. So. And then you want some colors, some paint colors. I'm using heavy body acrylics for these. And I'm using Thalo Cyan Blue, the green shade. Brilliant Blue, Thalo Cyan Green Blue shade over here. Bronze Yellow right here. And Titanium White. Then I recommend grabbing a palette knife. I like the ones with the round edges, but it doesn't matter. Just use whatever you have. You can also use a plastic knife if you don't have a palette knife. Use a wash brush. So a wash brush is just a flat brush that's thick. And then all you need is water and paper towels. And you're ready to go. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to take your white and a little bit of bronze yellow. Mix it over here. Make this light color right here. And then take your wash brush and just with some strokes like this, just every which way, it doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be straight across or anything like that. But if you wanna do it that way, you can. All I need you to do is cover your canvas. All right, now let this layer dry. So I am grabbing my white. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of my Brilliant Blue here. Okay, let that mix. So this is gonna be like the sky area. Okay, so that's the color that I'm wanting. And I'm going to take my palette knife right here. Now this portion up here, this little itty bitty portion up here, about an inch, is gonna be covered with sky. So. The brush stroke that I, or the strokes that I'm going to do are just kind of straight like this across. But again, doesn't have to be precise. And you might see some of this tan color show through, which is okay. That's why we put it down. So when it gets thinner, that's when it shows through. Slice it on here. Now you could do something more like this direction. It doesn't matter. It just needs to be covered. I want to grab just a little bit darker so it's a mix in there. Okay, I need to make a horizon line. And with a palette knife, it's a little more tricky. So I'm looking to make a little change in color to make that horizon line. All right, so I'm going to allow the green to come in here. This is where that pretty aqua color is going to come in. I'm going to mix a little right here. And I want it to still be light light and pretty okay i'm gonna start getting that color in the here now you're gonna see that color um but we're gonna go over it too with that, this other blue so going back and forth between the different colors notice how i'm still going across okay real quick because i see this i am going to flatten this just smooth it out just a little bit to give it a different texture than the water in front of it and it's still wet so it should be pretty easy and I'm very lightly going over it and that kind of gives a difference between the sky and the water here now you're going to be able to see some little pieces of dark in here but that's just very very subtle so here move some of that over And I'll grab from this again. So things are going to start to look a little bit different. We're going to start making waves. All right, so going down, just barely, and coming back up. Now I'm going to pull from different colors, all right? So it looks like I need some more white. Because I need this to be nice and thick and make peaks and I need a lot of color on here. Okay, so I'm going to make some peaks. Peak. Right there. 
peak. So I want to pull on down on one side. That's how I do that. Go up and then pull down. All right, this is just the beginning, just the beginning. So I'm going to get off this color on my brush, making some texture down here, some peaks. Super easy. Now I've got to focus on getting this dark color on the bottom. Now I'm going to grab this straight, dark, lovely blue. Now I'm not going to start in the middle here. I'm going to start at the bottom. And I'm going to make this peak right here. And colors are going to go over the top of it. So see how it has this chunk right here? I'm going to pull that down. Now I'm just going to get this dark color in here. Get it on the side. Pull it over here. Make some peaks. So really you're not going to see the outline of the peaks yet, but you're going to be making the texture of them. So right here, a peak. And that texture is going to dry. It's going to help you put the white over it. I need some dark in there. This uses up a lot of paint when you do palette knife thick stuff. Okay, I'm gonna pull a little bit of my green, my dark green, mix it with my blue. Mixy mixy. Just need a little bit of it in some areas. Let's concentrate on these tan areas that I don't really want be tan. I'm going to use up all the color I have. Okay, still making peaks, just picking where I want them to go. Like, not one right above the other. Just kind of offset them. Sometimes just going on the side like that is nice. Pulling up all the way to this area. It'll look a little messy for now, but it's okay. Pulling some of that light color down. So I got some coverage here. That's what I'm looking for. To come in here with what you have down and to make sure you have some peaks. Okay, so you're going off the edge of some areas and getting that texture in there because we can always go over it with colors. Okay, so I'm going to get these corners in the side. So I'm just making sure I go over some of these areas that didn't get coverage. And then I like to take my knife and just on the side take off the extra stuff on the edge. All right, so this is where we're at so far, right? So one direction, down direction, one direction, down the other direction, okay? Makes those peaks, all right? But at this point, you gotta let it dry because when you go over it, it's gonna, the texture is gonna pull some of that paint off of your palette knife and make it look really cool. So while I wait for that to dry, I like to just pull this off of my palette knife and I'm going to mix up some more colors. So I want to make this like aqua green. So I'm going to take my white, half of my white and pull it over here and a little bit of this green here. Green. Then I take a little bit of blue, add it to it. And that is the color that I want. Okay. And then I'm going to mix this blue and green together. So I'm going to pull off that light color I have on here so it doesn't lighten my color. I'm going to make a dark bluish green. 
just white and the brilliant blue. I'll want it really close to just being white. So there's a lot of things you can do while you're just waiting for things to dry. It is not completely dry, but it's at a stage where I can paint on it now, okay? So this is where I'm gonna grab from a few colors. Um, I'm gonna start with my light blue and I'm going to pull down right over here on this peak. Okay, so notice how it skipped right there because of the texture. Okay. That's what we want. See how it skips right there because of the texture? Now it's starting to look like ocean water. It's exactly what we want. So that was the light blue. So the white is even going to be lighter on top of that. And I like to get the white right on the peak like that. And you can hardly see a difference in the camera, but there is a difference when I look at it. So I start on that side and then I go on this side with some color. Okay, so you got some peaking. Now I can grab my light blue or my light green. I can add some light green in there on this one side. And it just kind of looks like the foam. Okay, so the thicker I apply it, the more coverage I'm going to have. So if I apply this really thick right here, it's going to cover more area and you'll see less dark underneath it. Okay, so for example, maybe I want a peak to be right here. I'm going to push a little harder and then go on this side with more paint. Okay, see how it made that peak? So that's how it goes. So I could make a peak right here and then just follow that one peak that I've already made. So I just want a few colors that are in between and I want to keep the um, motion going in the direction that it's supposed to be. So I'm pulling and pushing in the direction. And you can also look at it from a distance and it'll show you where you should put some color. You know, so like right there, I just looked from a distance. I'm like, that needs to have some light. And as you get back further, don't use your white. Only use your white up here. because this is where the most contrast would be, is through here. Because it's closer. Right, sometimes I feel like it needs to have some dark in there around the peakish area, so I'll add that in. At any time I can add in whatever color I want and do the same thing that I did with the white. Just pulls it and goes on top of the texture I already have. So I would focus on the like the bottom part of your peaks with the dark. So for example, this putting it right here and making it look like it's this direction made it look like it was dark right there and that's the bottom of a peak. And that's just how it does it naturally. So I don't really want to go above this line with any dark. So I might just make like a little area that is dark right here that shows me no further back because it shouldn't be that dark back there. It should be a little lighter so if you want to mix a little bit of your light color in there and work on some of this area back here that's fine. It just needs to be not as dark. Like I notice that I want a little bit more of a contrast between the sky and here. See, I could add a little bit more back here because it's dry. And it just gives it a little more texture, adding a little bit more color back there. So honestly, this is pretty much done. That was super fast and easy, wasn't it? And you can be perfectionist all you want on it or just let it fly, let it be loose, let it be just like this. And it looks like water. So you can continuously play with it until yours 
looks the way that you want it to and just play and have fun. Thank you so much for painting these ocean waves with me today. I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. If you wanna learn more, go ahead and sign up for our weekly art lessons. They're gonna help you become a better artist. You're gonna learn all sorts of things like composition and color theory and different techniques. So go ahead and check those out. And then if you want to watch more videos, go ahead and watch more videos and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.